Skyping you, <laughs> saying I've done Skype like a couple times in 20 years. And <laughs> well, that's just, okay. You worked. I just plugged my speak my microphone in only like Saturday, so that's working. I'm not. I'm, I don't have two left hands, fortunately, so that's working. Okay, I just did a screen share. Can you see the spy? I got it, and you are so <laughs> precious precious with your time. I really mean that. Oh. I saw the type. If I finish my Skype note uh -huh. for, for verification, uh -huh. saying that you've worked long, we, I've worked long, I was just going to run out and get a grab bite to eat. If we want to do this another time, we could. And now your call was <laughs> successful. So, so well, now that you got me for two minutes, that's, that's uh, really great. And listen, great webinar too. You're, oh, you're a real pro. Thank you. Um, I, I know quality when I finally met quality and everything you said, everything you touched on <laughs> that losers keep losing by. <laughs> how many, how many rooms have I been in? I've lost count. I've lost count. Like seriously, I know remembering last year, you're telling me that you have a thing where you jump room to room to room to room to room. I remember you telling me that like September last year. Yeah. And we all do that, though. You know that. We well, I never that. did that. I never did that. But I mean, you, I think, are, are unique in the fact that you might do it a lot. I think some people do it sometimes. But I mean, you were like the champion of jumping around. Maybe, maybe there's something with this. That to be sexist thing. But this guy thing, I got to figure out. I got to figure I can figure it out. Is that what it out. is? I can figure out. Yeah. Maybe that personality thing. You're right. We're all different. We're all different. We're all unique. I over. Let's go over the spy here because you're in this right now, and then we'll go over the Alta. Okay. So okay. obviously you did this, and then how many of these did you get? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, are you asking about spy now? Spy. Yeah, the one I called today. Yeah, the spy. I have uh, 15 call contracts. Oh, you got a lot. That's good. Okay. So now, how did you end up on the day with whatever price you got into the close? Were you up? Were you break even? Where were you into the close? Yeah, into the close, obviously down. Uh, most well, what did of the you day, pay? Then, what did you pay for him? What did you pay? Now, now, now up and up in the, you know, I don't have it open right now, but I'm definitely green late, like you say, really, really late in the day, the last yes. half hour. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, so we're, this is up tonight. So this looks great. So, like, what are you going to do with this tomorrow? Or what are you going to do with this before we go over ultra? What are you going to do? Because you're going to be up tomorrow morning into the open. What are you going to do? Right. I would say my idea for the open is because the first half hour is so so volatile and, and, and just not sensical to the, relative to the rest of the day, um, I, I'm, I'm learning to not get shaken out in the morning. Mm -hmm. Because you never you never know you never know about overnight shakeout or new news that shake mm -hmm. that shake the first half hour holders out. So um, I don't mind shaping shake um, to, to a little morning shakeout mm -hmm. activity of the first ten minutes. I think I'll watch it the first ten minutes and see what it's doing, which will give a better to me gives a better indication for the rest of the first half hour how the first ten minutes react. Okay, that's that's all a great scenario. But let's just look here. What did you pay for the? What'd you pay for these? What's your price? Okay, let me look. Hold on, let me look. Because <clears throat> this is going to be over the strike, I think, into the open. But what'd you pay for? I paid one twenty four. Okay, so based on that, one twenty four divided by two. So say you were up tomorrow. Say the price tomorrow morning is like 180, 190, or two. That means you're going to be up. Say you're up in this 60 cents times 15 contracts, which is. So you're going to be up a decent amount of money. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think you need to look at this, like, and see if you're up. 50 cents, 60 cents in this tomorrow morning. What are you going to do? Is that a grab and go? I know. I, I know. That's I what think, I'm asking you. Like, this is what I'm saying. Like, the shakeout's fine, whatever, but you're going to be. Have a plan. Up. Right. Have yeah. a plan. I got you. I, I, would, I would say, the, I, would say I, would, I would close it. I would close it for a very reasonable gain mm -hmm. um, with the first, uh, the first down tick of. Um, Probably on the first, maybe one or three minute, first uh, first retracement. Well, I mean, 
mean, if you get up into the, if you get up into the open, you're up over a thousand dollars. You can just take it out. But if you want to hold this, because tomorrow's only Tuesday, then yeah. this could really have a really significant move. I mean, the target on this really is two eighty five. And I mean, you could make three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars in this if you let it run. So I think that's something you got to think about between now and tomorrow morning. Forget the shakeout stuff. I mean, you're going to be up in the gap up overnight into this, and you could you could quick get out of it, just make a quick thousand bucks. Or I'm telling you, you could hold it and have a bigger trade. That's what I'm saying. But I don't know if this blows it out of the water tomorrow or not. But it, 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 I don't know where we open. So I won't know that until I get up in the morning and see the gap and rate the gap. But I'm just saying this potentially could end up being a really, really big trade. And with the size that you have, then you could make, you know, you could even turn it over twice. Huh. That's, that's, uh... But you might be up over $1,000 into the open. And that's a really nice gain for something that you took today and to get out of right away is tomorrow. Because I can't guarantee that it's not going to you know, go crazy around like we talked about with the volatility before it actually goes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I mean, I, I like the analysis, but your your projection. I, I also like your your t last ten minutes about forecasting, etc. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have to learn this from you. I have to learn this in the future. I know you didn't do the class yet. I hope you did the class yeah. soon. I mean, and I know okay, you're not exactly. doing exactly. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting more and more concrete of what I don't know. I know enough now of what I don't know. Okay, so so by, by meeting you, <laughs> that's by, the first time I heard successful. that one. <laughs> yeah. So so it's so it's all what's all good about forecasting is I see the gaps and it's had multiple gaps over these last few days to spy, which is ironic. So it's just a. Well, the interesting a, thing is it gapped down on Friday. If we gap down, I'm going to blow this up here really quickly, and then we'll get to Alta. The market yeah. gapped down Friday. Hell, did not fall. Gapped down. Gapped up today. The oh, market gap right. down okay. Friday. This wasn't a gap right. up, even though we were green, and we didn't we didn't gap up here on Thursday. We were neutral, neutral. Right. So I'm, I mean, I mean, this was an aggressive call today, and we fell off at one point, and that's why I was hoping you didn't kill it. Some people probably did. Some people uh -huh. probably did kill this in here, but that's why I said to the email, the best thing you can do with these is just let them play out, because nine times out of ten, I'll call a train. And they'll work out, but it, they may not work right the second you take them. Some do, some don't, like Alta did, but not everyone does. So just, I mean, if I see something's going to happen, just let it play out until well, it happens. Let me, let me, can I ask you this, though? In, 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 direct con in direct reflection to your statement there, mm -hmm. uh, I did Costco many days ago. I mean, you know, just fantastic call. With this, when you killed the spy today, is this you speaking as a room moderator or you oh, speaking no, that was a day trade. trade that was a day trade don't get confused because you're not in the room yet you didn't do the class that was a day trade i talked about in the webinar the option trade is on that was a day okay. trade i had another email about that today a guy that's doing the options and the room and i sent the email which i don't think okay. you got because you're not in the room i sent an email to the room where the stop was there's no stops in the options trades you play them out don't get confused this was okay. a day trade you got to get in and out by set time you could have retaken this today as a day trade but the options trade is on i'm saying yeah. i bet some people killed this because the market did fall off and broke the low and the way that this right. looks i mean this is this is an aggressive call to call the market here let, let take that yeah. off and look at this here and we fell today and we broke the low we were red red in the day at one point and that's how we closed look at that we're up tonight look and that's why i'm not even surprised look at yeah. how much we're up tonight look at the fact that we're gapping up here that's what i'm saying people are short this market they shorted it today when we fell and broke the low wow yeah and now they got squeezed so that's now what i'm squeeze. saying you may have a big trade in this so you could get out of five into the open hold ten you could that's do that great. that's a great idea I don't, you know, I don't, I don't scale out or in, I was going to say the word enough, but I'm going to be honest with you, and I like you already and trust you, I, I don't scale in or out, and that's a mistake, isn't it? It's a mistake. No, that, you know, the, there's no rule about that. That's some people do, some people don't. I don't do that all the time either. I'm just trying to give you ideas here so you can book some money because I know it's, okay. it's the, a very big part of this process for you is convincing yourself that you can do it and getting to the point to do the class, and you've had some good ones here so you book some money like you did the Ulta and that's fine but it's like you could have taken I don't know how many did the Ultas but you could have taken some out and let the rest ride so whatever you need to book money that is very exactly. important for you so I'm saying go ahead right. your 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 prescience you know your, your observations and knowledge is I, I got in and out of Costco in and out of mm -hmm. 
uh, ultra, but but both way too early. It's way too early. So what is that? Because it's very it's, important for you to book money, and when you're up, uh, when you're up, you're happy, but you're kind of scared a little bit because you're not used to making money so consistently since you've. To, you're not used to my trades and you're That's also true. like surprised that you're up all these ones so i That's think true. like to try to but then you were mad at yourself about this now let's go and look at this one here so this one here i don't even know what you're talking about about a shake-up i mean this just went what are you even talking about with this one here let me go back oh, just i think it was the first three minute uh it, it only retraced a little bit and boom i just i just hit the sell ticket Go, can you can you switch to a three minute or I don't care what you do. This doing, is a one, one minute, minute, but I mean the bottom line is though there, this never did anything wrong. I don't know why you got scared out that, of this at all. That for, that first uh, maybe the fourth red candle or maybe the very maybe the very second one. Of the I know you must have got out of it like you must have taken and got right out of it. I don't even know what you did. I did. <laughs> I, oh, it was terrible. It was oh terrible. my lanta! But you had a decent size in this too. How many of these did you have? I did. I had twenty five. That's insane. Did you go back and look what you would have made if you would have held him? I did. It's what crazy. Did, what would you have made? Uh, fourteen thousand. And he how said, much? How much did you make? Uh, twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred dollars is good. Twenty five hundred dollars exactly. is good. Yeah, that's good. That's I, I great. Did, yeah. I didn't kick myself too hard, but that's a big difference. That's a huge that's difference. difference. That's a huge difference. So what you could have done again is you Get could have booked hand. ten, and then you could have let fifteen ride. And then you would have made still over seven grand on the ones you let ride or half of that, whatever. And then you would have made close to 10, which is, which was fantastic. You're never going to, you're, ne you're it's never going to be, you get the perfect exit that let, I mean, I'm not saying never, but I'm saying it's rare that you get the perfect entry, the perfect exit with the whole thing. Like even Costco, I mean, like who could have even foreseen on the planet that this, I mean, this, look at that. <sighs> I mean, incredible. that was ridiculousness. Yeah. That was a great call. Great call. Costco was great. Yeah. But yeah. out by the third day. I mean, you know, I, I don't know where everybody got out of this, but I mean, by the third day, you're up a lot. Or even, you know, I mean, who, look at that. But anyways, this thing here, you literally must have, I, when you said shake out, I'm like, what is he talking about? This didn't do, this didn't even, like, it had one red, one minute bar. <laughs> you must have gotten right out. You must have taken and got right I out. I did. I got, well, the, the, the ultimate mistake, and tell me that it's a mistake, just confirm or, or correct me if I'm wrong. I got in on the very first bar. But that's okay, too. No, that's all right, too, because it took off. I mean, it did take off. I mean, the option chain wiggles and jiggles, but, I mean, I, I you know, I call the trades to move, so you never know would, where you're going to get filled. But wouldn't you wouldn't you agree if the second one-minute bar came down? I know it didn't, it didn't close low, but the, the wick is lower than the open of the first bar. But what does it have that, to do with that, anything? That doesn't have anything to do with that's anything. Why the, that's why the second bar shook me out. That's what, that's why I got it out. It didn't shake you out. You're doing an option trade. This isn't a day trade. It's an option trade. I mean, you could have done it as a day trade. Obviously, you got to get out. But I mean, as far as you're not, you're not putting, you didn't have a stop in where it stopped you out unless you right, got true. scared. Yeah, yeah, Let yeah, me yeah. just rewind this. Unless you thought, oh my God, that was it. I don't know what was going on in your mind. Again, you haven't done the class yet, but as far as this goes, like I don't know what was going on in your mind unless you just were up so much so quick that you got scared and took it. I bet I bet that's all it was. I yeah. remember the feeling. It was it was up very quickly, very strong. Just it felt like seconds, not even minutes. And I was out I was out by basically the end of the second minute. Yeah, and and that's okay. You made twenty five hundred dollars. But if you didn't take yeah. that size, you wouldn't have. Which, you know, right. but, but either way, right. um, and that was a good amount of money because this wasn't cheap. You had 25 contracts and this wasn't a cheap price uh, option. Um, it was, what was this, the Ulta? Um, uh, let me see, I should have it in my book here. Hold it on. doesn't matter. I know it wasn't, it yeah. wasn't as cheap like as a spy today. But anyways, you could have made $14,000, you didn't. That's fine. I'm just saying that, you know. You could piecemeal out of these. I'm not saying that I do that all the time. I'm not saying that anyone should. I'm saying for you, it's yeah. very, very important for you to be green for like to just book the money, but it doesn't yeah. mean you have to book it all. And since you are taking a decent amount of size of these, why not take advantage of allowing some of them to go? Now, some will further go and some won't. But then if you still have the ones that go, that go bigger and you get it, I think you'll be ahead in the end. But I mean, yeah. for you, I think it is important to book money quickly of some amount of it. 
because right. of the fact that you are you've been losing for so long now you sign up for the letter all these trades are working and it's working in your head everything's going great but yeah. now I think it's I think you can hold a little bit of some of these maybe not even half you could hold 30 percent if you want to uh-huh they're okay. not all going to go and have huge right. moves. Some will have one move and be done. But, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, for the SPY tomorrow, it's probably going to be up into the open. It's probably going to be over the strike. I do think it has a ways to run because if it opens up like that, it's going to take off. I don't know if it's Tuesday or Wednesday or before the end of the week, but I'm just saying that will be another one. That's a big move that could be worth three, four, five. I have no idea. And if it's up over two tomorrow morning into the open, you will be up profit. It, you know, so these these may, like you know. I may not want to. I may not want to hold for the for the news. The uh, the the Fed interest rate news tomorrow. Yeah, but too. that no, that's not till Wednesday. That's not till Wednesday. Oh. You sure? I thought it starts tomorrow. Two day, a two day chat. I, I don't know, Thursday. but why? What is what does it have to do with anything? Again, you didn't do the class, but if you gaps tomorrow morning and the gap rate's good, then it's okay. Don't worry about it. We're not trading the news. I'm not trading the news. It has nothing to do with my system. You okay. didn't learn the strategy yet, but I'm telling you that if the gap, I'm telling you if the gap rates well tomorrow morning, don't worry about the news. And that goes for any time. Again, you didn't do the class yet, but don't be trading the news. It's not going to get you where you want to be because right, people have right, been trading right, right, the right, news right, right. and they've been shorting the market, which is idiotic because look at what's been going on here. Just like people have been shorting these topping tails, boom, boom. And the resistance here, and this gapped up, this gapped up, failed to follow through. And I called the market long there. I knew it, I knew it was going to do what it did today here, but I was a week early. But what it, what does it matter? You play it on through. Look at this. We're getting bought right now. Look at this. This is moving higher right now. Look at this. This is zone. This is going to be over 283 tonight. Look at this. No way. Look, it's at 282.78. Here it is. That's the is price. Is it really? That's nice. Look at that. So I think you should decide right now. Here, this is tonight. I think that you should I think you should decide what you want to do and then start doing that on all the ones. Half, a third, whatever you want to do because you've been booking the money and that's great. You've had some nice profits. So what did you end up making at Costco? You made 2500 in Alto. What did you end up making at Costco? Uh, that was lighter size. Um, I think 15 I think like 1500, 15 contracts. Well, you're already ahead. You paid for the letter and you're already ahead. You're ahead. Well, Confident, confidence is building. Confidence yeah. is building. You are all right. You are you 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 know what you did. You you force you force the education of conviction. I mean, every your your webinar today tonight just it's not a broker. You know, it, the repeating of the same thing. This is very 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 totally psychological. It is totally in the space between our two ears, and we're all totally different. And you're right, totally. I've I've been losing for so. I've been inconsistent for so long, basically losing for so long. Now I am like grabbing that quick game and I hope I can break that. But you can keep doing that if you want to, but I'm just saying you're taking substantial size. Like if you were two in one or two contracts, if you were trading smaller size, then it'd be different. But I mean, you're taking such good size in these that I think it's yeah. okay for you to hold a little bit. Again, don't hold the half then, hold a little bit. But yeah, I mean, you okay. could you could keep doing what you're doing if you want. I'm just trying to give you some different ideas. It's totally yeah, up to good. you. It's totally yeah. up to you. But if you, you know, I think it is important for you to get green. But um, you are a great success story, Craig, because I, honestly, you called me. We talked for an over an hour on September, and you were going to do the class. I have no idea why you didn't do it. You didn't do it, and then when I followed up, I did follow up. You followed up with you. Look here, we're going to be yeah. over 283. It's happening right now. Look at this. This is, is the market really? getting bought. Look at this right now. Wow. There it is. Anyways, I followed up with you, followed up with you. Yeah. And when you told me you lost half your account, I didn't even believe it. I thought you were making it up. I'm like, what are you talking about? You had this much money, you had 20 grand. And when you said you lost that much, I thought, God, why Why did you take so long? Like, you knew that what I was doing was working. I talked to you, but what, what you just didn't want to pay? Or I don't understand. Why did you wait? I, I think it was the obstinate uh, engineer, German mentality type guy that says, you know what, Craig? Great gal, smart, experienced. There's no one else. Very, I mean, I haven't seen something else like this before. Mm -hmm. But surely, Craig, look in the mirror. Surely, you can figure this out yourself. Not, not imitating. Is that what you really thing. thought? Like honestly. Pardon me. Is that what you really thought honestly? Because I never know what people are thinking when I yeah, talk to them. No, yeah. I, I think it's. I think it's. Uh, I, I can't say I, I made a. I made a. Um, 
journal, you know, journal entry kind of thing. Like, I don't, I don't really blog to myself, but I, I do kind of recall because I've been, I've been knocking at this since basically since you began. I think you went back to 08, you said. That's exactly when I bought some mm -hmm. first, first time over the, um, sorry, mm -hmm. over the internet. Um, basically course and ended up being a room mm -hmm. and I go I go back 10 years mm -hmm. of inconsistent losing but I at mean, no I, point I, in time did you did it ever register that you weren't you weren't figuring you still thought that you could figure it out on your own even last year um, when did you find uh, me when did you actually find out about me because you were following me for a while before you called me in September yeah, uh, not not too long before contacting you. So oh, definitely, right. I'd say probably middle of uh, middle of last year, middle of eighteen, probably. Okay, all right, yeah. And not sure a source where whatever, but you know it could could have been on your you know you got some some fantastic leverage there with your with your uh, uh, pieces and and uh, showcases on Fox Biz, Fox mm -hmm. Fox Business News channel, I think it is mm -hmm. the Fox yeah. channel. Yeah. And and others and it could it could have been one of your first with that, mm -hmm. um, but then that quickly leads to you know seeing a, a YouTube and this and that and a different page. So you're 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 simply well um, established in the nature of your teaching. So you see, it's not just it's not just finding your pers your personality or your your marker on the web. Mm -hmm. It's the presentation and the convincing confidence of your own uh countenance so mm -hmm. uh i remember what did i tell my wife one time i said um there's another i i, I was in this tra i was in this group they've been bought out and they're gone now but this is called wise trade wise never trade. heard of them uh-huh go ahead did you ever hear of them no i never heard of them but there's like okay. a bazillion places okay. i know <laughs> well all, all the only reason i mention them is that there was one one trader one 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 of their clients bought your program it was mm -hmm. you know money and but but one gal just took it further and she taught herself through the wise trades wise trades literature and program became successful right away did 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 a, did a um, became a gap trader on her own mm -hmm. and and perfected it and got to her thousand dollar a day goal and she 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 did not even speak English off the boat here from Vietnam mm -hmm. and I'm thinking this gal couldn't even speak English and <laughs> she's successful. <laughs> And then one one day I log into the room and I and I'm reading some personality saying, well Jennifer Tan, you know this I w remember the the uh, Oriental Oriental last name, uh -huh. has is so proud of her success, so thankful that she's wrote herself a manual and we're making the manual available, mm -hmm. a download for free mm -hmm. for, for any any of our members who want to download Gen Jennifer Tran's. Um, strategy and you know what this this thing is very robust for for a non-professionals creation mm -hmm. um it was really 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 well done and what do i do with it i put it i put it on a shelf and i'm doing friggin some other uh credit spread breakout bullshit and i just craig was just jumping from thing to thing mm -hmm. to thing um, Melissa and I, I'm just not proud of that. But you yeah. know what? I I, fi I finally see them. I have a I have a confidence already brewing in the last 30 days of you and I. Tw well, not 30, but almost you know almost a month, whatever, two mm -hmm. weeks. So and I and I and I'm I'm going back. I remember the, the the Costco, the Target. I mean, I'm 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 um. What do you call it when you jump when you when you uh, record? I'm journaling. I'm journaling my last four trades with you now. Okay, so, good. So I journaled Target. I journaled Costco. I journaled Friday, and now today, and blah blah blah. And and I'm I'm, I'm looking at myself saying, Craig, this unequivocally works. It's the math. It's the pressure. It's the. This is a very 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 duplicatable real strategy, mm -hmm. and um, I'm gonna be speaking. A troubadour to your to your to your efforts there, because even even my own personal story. Family and friends and other mm -hmm. guys like me and my profession, a lot of real estate. You, 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 again, you came from the real estate background. You know how many people I know in real estate? Mm -hmm. I know tens of thousands of people in real estate here in South Florida. Wow. I mean, we're we're like the we're like the sixth borough of New York down here. I'm in I'm in you know Fort Lauderdale. We're um we're 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 basically Metro New York's 
sixth borough. So wow. A lot of people I know in real estate, a lot of attorneys, mortgage, title. Yeah, I think it's good to, I mean, if you're in real estate, you can do this in the morning and do your stuff later, which is nice yeah. to, that's what I did when I was in the process. I did mortgages later in the day. So that, I mean, it all worked out as a transition, as a transition career. But I mean, I just couldn't, I just didn't want to be doing mortgages anymore. I couldn't deal with the banks anymore. It was ridiculous to get loans approved. And, <laughs> and it was that same thing. And then working for yourself is so much better than yep. having to deal with all that baloney. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Some of my best friends are mortgage brokers. And you know what? They are watching what, not, not watching, they are noticing. Mm -hmm. Craig, like, what are you doing now? Like, what are you doing now? What are you, well, you know what? I know they won't understand what I do, mm -hmm. <laughs> what I'm teaching myself to do. They know I'm independent. They know I have, they, they know I have these little side businesses, things uh, that I kept behind. But but what they're really not understanding is I am doing this to be full-time doing this because I love, I actually love trading. I'm not doing this as a whatever, some type of stuff. I think camp. that, I think that's the thing. It. A lot of people, like you said, you've been doing it for 10 years. People do it because they love it, even if they're not making money. But right. how long can you keep doing that? And at some right. point then, it's got to weigh on you. It's great to do something that you love, but if you're not making yeah. any money, what's the point? You know right. what I mean? Like for yeah. me, I'm such a headstrong person that it's like I pushed myself and pushed myself. Now it did take three years for me to figure it out, but it's like I, I can't ever believe that I would ever have done something for that long without seeing progress. And so I pushed myself to the nth to the nth degree. But I mean, like, if, if people trade because they love it, but yeah. ultimately, if if you're not achieving something out of it, it does weigh on you, not just financially, but yeah. also confidence-wise. Right. where you don't feel like you're a successful person. And that is important. It I is agree. important to feel like you're successful what you're doing, not that you're losing. You don't want to tell people you're losing and you don't right. want to feel like you're losing. And if every trade that you take, you're feeling like it's 50-50 or if a crapshoot, it's really hard to put any size on. It's hard to put any size on at all. In fact, you're putting pretty good size on here. So you must have confidence in me at least because you've been putting some decent size on here and you're still new and haven't done the class. <clears throat> I, I would agree with everything. Yeah. Perfect summary, perfect uh, assessment. Because what you are, what you're saying there, in a nutshell, is also a psychological assessment of a of a brand newbie in your um, option newsletter. In your, I'm sorry, in your newsletter. Mm -hmm. And but what what has happened is you've gotten to know how. I mean, if I can call myself a trader, just because that's what I'm, that's what this topic is. Yeah, you're is. trading. Yes, you're a you, trader. You you psychologically, like Mark Douglas's excellent book. You understand the, psych the psychology of a trade and trader. This isn't investing. Again, back, back to your hour long. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's, it's so ubiquitous in the knowledge that's in that 60 minute presentation. And I know you do it again. You'll do it again. In a, in a, I know, but I had to push you. I mean, you didn't want to sign up for this even a month ago. And I said, you know what? If you don't do it now, you never will. I mean, I was just. I mean, yeah. I have to laugh, like, if I think back what I said to you, because, like, I swear to God, you, I mean, you're just like, oh, do, 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 do. And I was like, if you don't do it now, you never will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad you did. That was probably the kicker. That was probably the, your, one of your best closes. You, uh, you, you got to journal all the closes you used I was very good. honest with you, at least. No, oh, you did, but, but then, you know, you, you did mortgages for a decade or longer or whatever, but you, you were all, you're already good in sales. Yeah. You're so you're so confident as a trader, mm -hmm. you are excellent in selling your system too. Yeah. I was a little stubborn, no question. Too too many of us or of your of your customer market, I mean mm -hmm. your prospects out there, mm -hmm. too many of us, I don't know how many tried for ten years. I mean, maybe I'm a little unique at that. I didn't give up after ten years. No, I, I mean there's some people I've talked to that have been doing this for over twenty years. I mean, I don't know how and they're losing. I mean, not necessarily okay. every year for 20 years, but on and off, on and off, on and off. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, wow. well, but I not full knew, time. I, knew I wasn't alone. I knew I wasn't alone. Yeah. I read, I read a lot of different blogs or whatever. It, like, like I say, I'm, I'm into it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I, yes, I've been losing. I read it. I read things at night. I, I get on you know different trails on the on the whatever YouTube and things, and and I've learned a lot. But theory theory doesn't make you money. And it, it took me a long, it's taken me a long time to finally get to you, find you, say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Gaps, gaps are, are the methodology, the reason gaps happen. This is, this is a mathematical phenomenon that I can learn. I yes. just got to learn it from somebody who's yeah. already winning. And that's, and that's good. That's, that's, 
it finally got, I finally got convinced here with the with the sign up on the newsletter. So I'm so, so glad week, for back in September. I'm not sure you're oh, you're right. No, you 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 were accurate in your you referenced you referenced, referenced my story there. Uh, wrapping I did. I've used your story a million times at different webinars to teach people. Now whether they listen or not, I honestly don't know. But to hear it have it have it turn into a success story for you is I great. I want to see that and I want to see more of that. And that's why it's good to do these conversations and have you have the feedback and put the testimonials in because then people can see, I think people know that I can do it. I it's people I want people to know that regular people could do it and you're a regular guy and you've spent 10 years and God knows how much money, you know, attempting to do it and losing and going back and forth and other other classes and things. But it doesn't mean you'll never do it. At some point you just have to take the leap. I'm glad that you didn't wait till 2020. You know, I'm glad that it's early enough in the year that you're seeing success with this and then can get involved with the class and then maybe day trade too, depending on your time frame with your other business. But I think that it's 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 great that you're doing it. It's great that you're following along and um, you don't you, you know that, that the head stuff, it seems like it's not bothering you with these trains. I mean, you're getting that quick because you're up. But other than that, I don't think that's necessarily bad. You could do that forever if you want. I think that. I think that you're doing well as far as the head stuff. I mean, you're not allowing the head stuff to mess up the trades, which is good. I felt, I felt, I felt confident. I'm sorry. I felt successful in staying with Spy today. Okay, good. I could have got, you're right. A lot of people, anyone could have gotten shaken up. I think some people killed this. In fact, yeah. I'm, I can, I can think of one guy, one guy specifically who probably did because look at this is what here. I'm going to take this off. This is the stuff tonight and this morning, but this is what the market did today. Really, if you look at it. I mean, it, this it went sideways really here, and we did break the low, and it did recover. Right. But it, you know, if you were seeing this, you might have thought like, if I went back in time, this looked like right. a topping tail with a red bar. The market went red on the day. So right. I mean, I think some people might have lost conviction, and I just called it, and I just called it, and, and the daily chart it was strange looking, but the market did gap up today, and I saw it, and I saw the breakout. But anybody that stayed with this train is going to be up tomorrow morning into the open. Now it's 637. Yeah. We didn't quite get over 283. We were at 282, 84, I think. But this looks very, very good. I'd be shocked if we don't gap up tomorrow morning. Higher than this or same here. We'll have to see again. I don't know. But this looks really, really good. I didn't look and see what earnings are out tomorrow. But don't worry about the Fed stuff. And don't worry about the news right now. Do Think about what I said between tonight and tomorrow morning and decide. Do you want to get out of half of every trade, hold the rest, get out of a third something? You don't have to change what you're doing if you don't want to. But you could right. have made over $14,000 in that trade on Friday. And man, oh, man, would that have been a great success story. I mean, holy cow. That, you know, yeah. seriously, two weeks into the letter and to make that kind of money, you know, that would have been great for you. I want to see you yeah. do that at some point, you know. You could have done it at Costco if you had taken more size. Yeah. Yep, yep. It's it's all met now. Now one last thing on, on the scaling out a couple of things. Great, great suggestion. I like it. I'm gonna do it. How about the all I read, so much I read about scaling in. What's your what's your premise on scaling in? What I you... wouldn't add to any more trades right now. You didn't do the class. Don't be doing that. Don't be going crazy. Assess your risk, decide the amount you want to risk per trade, keep it similar per trade, and play them out right now. Until you do the class, I wouldn't start doing that. No. Take the okay. trades as I call them. Decide where you're going to get out. If you're up 50%, 100%, or get out, divvy it up. Don't start doing that. It's going to screw you up and mess it up because you don't understand how to rate the gaps yet. You haven't done the class, and then you'll take more of a trade, and you'll add in, and then it will do something crazy, and then you'll be down $14,000. Do not right. do that right now. You do not. Okay. You haven't done the class. I'm not saying never do it, but don't do that right now. Unless right. I tell you otherwise. If I say, oh, this looks amazing, take more, that's a different story. But I haven't right. said that in anything so far. Right. Gotcha. All right. Okay. What a winner. What a great call. You are so fantastic. Thanks for the extra time. All and right. Really it was good to talk to you. It was good to meet you. You too. You too. I'm so I'm proud of you, Greg. I really am. It takes guts to say, gosh darn it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to this girl. And you are. And I'm, I'm proud of you for doing that. I know it took some, you know, motivation for you to get to that point. I was hard on you. And I'm glad that you listened to me. And I'm so happy that you're making money. And I want to see you make that $14,000 in some trade this year. You'll hear. You'll hear about it. Thank you for all you're pushing me. And I'm this fellow Mike that you mentioned in your, in your oh, webinar. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I didn't hear a word from him now. I didn't see him in the webinar tonight. I mean, he. I heard his stories, you know, for an hour and a half on Friday. I don't know. He's another one that's scared. And I, I don't know. So I haven't heard from him. I don't even have his email. So I, I can't send you anything of the guy because I don't even have his contact information. So if he reaches out to me, 
I'll refer him to you for sure. Maybe you can well, make him feel a little better. You've got you've got my total <laughs> you've got my total green light to do that, and, any, and anyone else in the future as well, by the way. So no worries. All right, Craig, you're okay? a superstar. I'll talk to you later. Okay, take care. Thanks okay. again. Bye -bye. All right, bye bye. <clears throat>